to our next part of the journey, four hours away from our destination. We had to drive back to the airport. We're picking up the next rental car now, and then we can start our next leg of the journey. And if you guys want a quick review on that Land Rover Discovery, one out of 10, three. Thing is trash. <laughs> All right, well, you know, what happened is we used that Turo service. Uh, not, not a good service. Do not like it, would never use again, would not recommend. If you're gonna get a rental car, just go ahead and use a standard rental car service. This trip has been played with a few different types of difficulties, but you know, as a family and as people, we gotta work through them to get to the next destination, to make the trip enjoyable. So that's what we're doing. She's got the Toyota Camry. Totally strange outside, actually really nice inside with some delicious food. So good to find this place here. Hey, that's really cool stuff. Right here in Minnesota, Coons Rapids, the Federal Ammunition Manufacturing Facility. Hey, it's right here. I know some of you guys use Federal, possibly I use Federal, so really cool to visit this place. gentleman down there he just caught a bullhead catfish a little small one he says that's what they're hitting right now but he said everything is right down there every type of fish you could ever imagine he said the city just opened it up so the river's flowing a lot better right now but hey this is really cool find and i'd love to make some casts Somewhere new, something new. Bailed out of Coons Rapids. Got all of our stuff done there and headed about two and a half hours north. And we're over here at the Grand View Lodge. It's a pretty nice resort. They have a pretty big compound out here. There's no hotels available right now. So we ended up here. It's pretty nice to, to say the least. A lot of people here, a lot of families. So that's always a good thing. See a bunch of families around free bikes that you can use anytime you want here on the facility. The place is so big, so it does help to have a bike to get around. Big advantage of this place is, uh, well, one, it's, it's pretty, it's really kid friendly. So of course we're out here with the little one, got him in the pool. <laughs> Another amazing thing about this place is that it's on Goal Lake. So right now, you know me, Headed down to the lake. See if I can get some bites on these baits. So there's a bunch of resort docks here. I'm just gonna hop on and try to make some casts through. The water's super clear. And the ground is like a, it's kind of like a red, a red brown dirt, dirt brown with some loose pebbles on it. Probably about 10 feet in from me, the bait goes through some eel grass, some grass of some sort. So I'm not really sure exactly where the fish would be at right here. And I'm hoping I find a bigger patch of eel grass or this type of grass. I'm not sure what kind of grass it is, but. Oh, 
Oh, I got one, guys. Oh my God. You guys don't believe it. I finally got a fish. Finally got something. Oh my gosh. Finally. So many casts. Finally got something. Let's see what it is. He's spinning. He's spinning. Oh, rock bass. Rock bass. <laughs> Dude, finally got one. Rock bass. On the neck breaker. Finally. Finally got something. It's been so long. I've been trying to get a bass for ever. Trying to get a bite forever. Yeah, apparently this is not a super desirable fish, but hey, awesome to get one. Let's go ahead and put this dog back in the water. <laughs> Finally something. Neck breaker, 3 8 ounce head. Little 3 0 hook and a three and a half inch Kitek trying to get the job done out here. Take a look at it right now. This is 9 30 at night. This place, it doesn't get dark in Minnesota. I don't know really know when it gets dark actually. The other night I was fishing until 10 30 at night and it was still bright out as well. That's our new rental car right there. It's a 2022 Toyota Camry SE. When we got this thing, it had 131 miles on it. Now it's got about 350. We've been driving around the state quite a bit. Overall, it's a decent car. For less than $30,000, you can get this vehicle. I didn't know they were that relatively inexpensive. I thought this was more like a $40,000, $50,000 vehicle. Earlier, I was talking about that Range Rover and I said it was trash. I take it back. The Range Rover is a decent vehicle. That was a 2017. That Range Rover was actually comfortable to sit in, driving for a long time. In some instances, it just it just didn't have the power. And I think it's because the owner had it on eco mode, so it didn't always have the power that I wanted. It's a decent ride, it sits high, it's a small little SUV, and uh, it, it was a good car overall. That Turo service, I'm not exactly sold on. It's basically Airbnb for a car. I mean, it's someone's vehicle, and it was kind of a sour taste automatically. The guy had us pick it up, I don't know, 20 miles from the airport when he was supposed to drop it off. So we had an Uber over there and then it was in a, I, I think it was in a sketchy neighborhood. I mean, that's just me saying it. At 1230 at night where we picked it up downtown, nah, not happy about that. But in comparison, the Camry is, is super low and I haven't driven in a sedan in quite a long time. I have a truck, my wife has the SUV, so we're a lot higher all the time. And I haven't had a car since 2008. In 2008, I had a 2003 350ZX, and that thing was super low. It was slammed to the ground. The thing was on rails. It was a great small little car, but I haven't had a car in a while, so it's a little different driving a car. This thing has eco mode, standard mode, and sport mode. Eco mode, it's a total dog. It's not even worth driving in. So I just switched the thing over to sport and then it's a lot more fun, a lot more power. It's still not a lot of get up and go, but it's decent. So overall, which one would I pick between that Range Rover and this Camry? And I would choose the Range Rover. It was a better ride overall. I'm sure it's a more expensive car, but uh, so that's, <laughs> hey, that's my review on the two rental cars that we have during this trip.